Hello everyone, it's Ray with Tara Levang. So this is going to be a two card reading for May 10th to the 16th. And I like to do a two card reading just to see how the two energies kind of play off of one another rather than splitting up the week and doing three cards for each section of the week. So I'm going to try that. So I'm going to, um, I, I just have to actually move over in order to cut them and pick the two cards. So I'm just going to do that right now. So we're just going to ask um, that information about our week uh, come through in order that we can just be more aware of the energies that are happening for this week. That's our second card. And this is our first card. That was sort of my intuitive feel on it. Okay, so we have the Princess of Swords and the World card. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it already because... Um, princess, in this deck it's princesses, but that's Page. So that's Page of Swords. So the Page is always the... Uh, beginning of a phase. Pages are known to be really all about the new nascent energy of a particular suit. So where the aces are really um, the very spark of energy that has not yet been embodied, the pages are actually where that particular suit is now embodied, but the individual is just starting on their journey. So it's really all about the beginning phase. And so often something new can actually um, start when you have a page that comes up. And we'll talk about other meanings in a minute. But what I was going to mention is why I said, oh, I like it already, is because we have the page, which really represents something new. Um, it can, and a beginning, and nascent energy. And then we have the world card that was picked, which we know is the last card in the major arcana, arcana that, are, that represents really that completion phase. So it's almost like we're starting at the beginning of the week with that nascent, unformed, or un, you know, developed kind of energy. And then throughout the week, we're actually finding ourselves at a place of completion. And it's so funny because the last reading I did, we had sort of something similar where we had a 10 for the last card. So really interesting. So it's almost like our weeks right now are kind of a cycle in and of themselves. So um, let's talk about the Page of Swords in more detail. So sword energy or sword suit we know is related to um, basically air. So it's the element of air. And air, you know, in astrology, even if we talk about the air element, we're talking really about that intellectual part of ourselves. And it's the mental capabilities. It's the way our mind works. It's the way we communicate, um, write, um, anything that has to do with um, really communication or thinking, um, it has to do with our beliefs, our opinions, our truths. And um, it's so funny, I was talking about this card today um, to a friend of mine, so it's so interesting that I picked this one. Um, but the Page of Swords is really about that um, early energy and usually if it's representing a person it's a young person and so they're kind of in that unformed younger form kind of energy that has that sword in their hand and so they have the sword of knowledge and, and truth and you know information and mental capabilities but they don't have a lot of experience yet so you can often see a page of swords somebody who kind of walks through life with, they're kind of wielding a lot of power in a sense with the, the fact that the sword is what it is, but they have no experience. And so sometimes that can go a little bit astray or go awry. Um, so it can relate to somebody who really has um, a lot of natural capability with regard to a mental and intellectual, um, you know, knowledge or very clever and um, kind of, you know, could be a a witty person or someone who has a lot of potential of um, mental capabilities or a student, um, someone who's learning something. Um, you know, it can represent all of those things, um, but they haven't really yet formed it. So that can go a little bit wrong and you can sometimes see the pages um, speaking maybe a little bit harshly or they can, you know, it kind of relates to rumors and, um, you know, things that may be untrue and that sort of thing. So it can go a little bit wrong. 
But the way that I really see it here with the page in the world, I really see this as a cycle throughout the week. That we're starting out with that page energy and so we're starting out with something new that we have to utilize our mental capabilities or our communication skills this week. And we are going to be learning something. So it's going to be a week where um, it could be something like a, a course, uh, you know, like, I mean, I personally have a lot of uh, learning going on this week at work, and I'm sure many other people might be in that situation, where you have something new that you need to take in and learn and begin to understand. Um, it can also be that you're learning about your communication skills. Uh, it could be that something, uh, some kind of information or news is coming to you uh, through communication this week. And then with the world card there, the world card is the end of the major arcana cycle and it really represents where we have learned so much and we have experienced many things on our spiritual journey and we've kind of reached the end of that cycle where um, we have worked very hard to reach the end and to be able to say, you know, they've, I've learned many things and kind of reached that point of completion. Um, so to me, this is representing that throughout the week we've got something that we need to learn and we can actually bring it to completion this week. So there might be something kind of short lived but rather important that could be on our plate in terms of uh, learning, growing, um, you know, just an understanding or, you know, gaining some kind of wisdom or knowledge throughout the week in order to bring it to completion by the end of the week. So I love these two cards together. I think that really shows the, the newness and kind of the ending all at the same time. So take a look at what's happening this week for you in terms of, um, you know, learning something, something that you have to communicate, ways that you may be challenged in your communication. Um, you know, just think about communicating as responsibly as you can. Um, you know, it can represent that we're kind of in that new phase. And also what kind of messages are coming your way and that may, may bring some uh, form of positive news. Usually the world card, you know, when I see that, it's a positive card and so you have to look at that as well. So I hope this has been helpful. I wish you all a wonderful week uh, for May 10th to the 16th. And we shall uh, chat next Sunday again. Uh, hopefully I'll have time to do one of these every week. Take care.